Hello, it's that college football guy here with another video. Yeah, it's a little dark here out, but it's early in the morning too. My cooler's like running overtime right now. <laughs> um, but it's time for another <clears throat> 2023 schedule preview, and it's the Louisville Cardinals. So let's get into <clears throat> I'm probably my voice this morning. Let's get into what they had last year. I mean, last year in 2022, Louisville, they started the season at Syracuse, lost 31 to 7. That's a tough way to start the season. Then they went at UCF, 120-14. Home against Florida State, 135-31. Close win. Home against USF, which is South Florida, 141-3. At Boston College, lost 34-33. That's a tough loss. At Virginia, 134-17. Then they were home for a goodbye week. And then they had a three-game homestand against Pitt, Wake Forest, and James Madison. Won all three. Beat Pitt 24 to 10, beat Wake Forest 48 to 21 against Sam Hartman. That was impressive, and beat James Madison 34 to 10. They went on the road to Clemson and lost 31 to 16. They faced NC State at home, won 25 to 10, and then went on the road to Kentucky and lost 20, 26 13, 26 17. Not quite sure. Anyway, then they had their bowl game, the Wasabi Fenway Bowl, against Cincinnati at 124 to 7. So they finished the season eight and five. No, not a bad season. The key to these schedule previews is where are your tough games? Are they at home? Or are they on the road? The toughest game to schedule of your schedule, are they at home or are they on the road? It's a key indicator of how you're going to do, but some games just don't matter where they're played. All right. This year, Louisville has two neutral site games. They have week one versus Georgia Tech, but it's going to be in Atlanta. Now, Georgia Tech is in Interesting. Georgia Tech is in Atlanta. Well, it's going to be at... Uh, I don't know. I forgot the name where the Falcons play, but that's the stadium they're going to be. Georgia Dome. I'm assuming it's, I don't know if it's still the Georgia Dome or not. They keep selling licenses like candy around here, so I honestly don't know. Then they're home against Murray State. Then they got a neutral site game against Indiana in Indianapolis, where uh, I think it's Lucas Oil Field uh, for the Colts play. Then they're home against Boston College. You lost at Boston College last year. Now you got them home this year. That'll be a big help. You're at NC State. We'll see how that goes. Then you're home for Notre Dame. That's going to be a tough game. At Pitt. Last year you beat them 24-10 to 10 at home, but now it's going to be on the road. But we'll see what happens with a change of personnel. Then you've got three consecutive home games again after the bye week. Home against Duke. Home against Virginia Tech. And home against Virginia. Didn't play Virginia Tech last year. But you played Virginia at Virginia last year. And you won 34-17. So that could be something there. You're at Miami. Late in the year, so they could be fighting for something. So that could be an interesting game. And finish off at home against Kentucky, your rival. Well, um, two neutral site games, basically road games. The road games are neutral site games. So you tack, if you count, take the neutral site games out of the equation. And actual road games on a college campus. They only have three all year. They're at NC State, they're at Pitt, and they're at Miami. It's either seven home games, two neutral site games. They only play three games on the actual road that aren't at neutral site and on an opposing campus. That could mean good things for Louisville. That could be relatively interesting. I mean, Louisville's going to be going through their own. Jeff Brom's now the head coach after he left Purdue. It'd be interesting to see around there. I mean, you start off the season against Georgia Tech. If you want to start off an ACC season, ACC game, having the worst team in the ACC to play to get your season started off, not a bad way to go. Then you get Murray State. Then you get Indiana out of the Big Ten with a chance to regroup. Your revenge game against Boston College at home. Your first real test is going to be at NC State. That's week four. And then you follow that up with a home game against Notre Dame. And then Pitt. A little run there, so that could be problems. So... It's a rather interesting schedule, to say the least. But let me know down in the comments what you think about this one. Wow. Home against Georgia Tech. Actually, neutral site, Georgia Tech at uh, the Georgia Dome. Home at Murray State. Neutral site against Indiana at Lucas Oil Stadium. Home against Boston College at NC State. Home against Notre Dame at Pitt. Home against Duke, Virginia Tech, and Virginia at Miami. And then home against Kentucky. Wow. Um... Well, let me know down in the comments what you think about all of this. 
Um, so thanks everybody for watching this video, this little quick schedule preview of the Louisville Cardinals for their 2023 schedule. Um, if you haven't already, please smash the like button, hit the thumbs up, helps with the algorithm, helps with the analytics, helps the video be seen by more people. Again, comment on the video to hear how you feel about this. And subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 400 subscribers. Let's see if we can get there. So again, thanks everybody for watching the video. I hope everybody's having a great day. It's really early here. I'm recording this uh, roughly about 8.30 in the morning here, Eastern Time, because cell reception stinks out here, and I have no idea how long it's going to take to upload. So thanks, everybody, for watching the video. Hope everybody has a great day, a great Friday, and please be good to each other.